welcome to Red Ted Art. Firstly, subscribe to my channel and don't miss out on any future crafts. Now, today I wanted to show you how to make these really super cute paper teacups. Um, now, I first came across these at my sister-in-law's wedding. She had an Alice in Wonderland themed wedding and these were all hanging from the ceiling and they looked amazing. So if you love Alice in Wonderland, if you're having a party um, or if you just want to make these for your kids to play with, I mean, it doesn't matter what age you are, little kids will enjoy it, teenagers can decorate their rooms uh, and adults can get married. <laughs> anyway, first thing you'll need is ta -ta -ta -ta, a nice printable from Red Ted Art. This is a free printable. Um, you just need to um, you know, log on and, and you'll be able to download it now um, and then obviously you need a piece of card so I'm going to start off straight up you know just get going basically it's a lot of cutting and a bit of sticking I'm um, using a hot glue gun so I'm just cutting the paper the pattern and the cardboard out at the same time just to save a bit of time but obviously once you cut the, um, the pattern out once you can just trace it and reuse it several times rather than having to keep printing it out but as I'm demonstrating on this video how to do it this is the quickest way uh, I was going to say oh yes I'm using a hot glue gun um, you could try using staplers if you don't have a hot glue gun you can use um, ordinary glue but you do have to kind of hold it in place a little bit as it sets so it's really a little bit of trial and error in terms of um, finding out what works best for you but I do have to say I like hot glue guns and if you're making loads like um, they did for my sister-in-law's wedding then you definitely need to use a hot glue gun I reckon so this is going to be the, the cup this is going to be the saucer and also you saw on the other ones that I just showed they had like a wiggly line so I'm just doing it simply you can, you know, you can add this wiggly line for detail but again that takes a bit longer than to cut out but if you have for example a cutting machine you know like a cricket or something similar you could just load the pattern into the cricket the the newer ones let you load your own patterns i.e my, my pattern and um you know then you can just cut them really quickly and easily without having to you know add all those details you could even put some lace effect on them which would be really nice wouldn't it sorry taking a little while here and then cut out this I bet you're thinking, why didn't she cut that out beforehand? Well, I think it's nice to show. So at the base, how each bit comes along. So now this bit here is to connect it. So it's almost like your connecting piece, or it's the bottom of the teacup, depending on how you look at it. And if you wanted to, you could actually just stick this to the teacup and have the base and the teacup separately. But then you probably would need to cut another one of these yellows out so that your saucer doesn't have a hole if that makes sense now on this one you also need to cut these strips just to the middle just oh, sorry not to the middle just to that line that you can see here this kind of gives you a little bit of sort of shape and it kind of lets you sort of curve a bit and as I said if you go to redhead art um, there's a free printable I will add the link to the bottom of this video or not the bottom of the descriptions um, but if you can't find it for whatever reason all you have to do is google red ted art teacup pattern and it should pop up straight away I'm just going to use smaller scissors here because I find it easier when you're cutting something a bit fiddlier to use smaller scissors now like I said this is great for my sister-in-law's wedding it looked so effective hanging from the ceiling but also um, my children have used these for tea parties. We've stacked them up and had little like teacup races, like a bit like an egg and spoon race. Um, we've had balancing exercises, you know, you can do all sorts of funny things with it. So with this, this is the, the handle and you need to fold this one over like that and then straight down. And that's a bit that you'll then have to secure onto it. You see, you've got these little flaps that you can secure onto your teacup right let's begin so I'm gonna do the cup like this also what you can add is um, if you want is stickers so you know it's just some like circular office stickers to kind of give it that dotty look so here you go so that's the first bit like I said hot glue gun is brilliant but hot glue gun is also hot so do take care I'm going to just glue that one There we 
we go. So that just gives it kind of that little sort of saucer effect. Nice sort of little extra. Now I'm going to fold these up. Just going to let them go in. Put a bit of, actually I might put the glue on here. I think that's a bit easier. Go all the way around. I mean you don't need too much. I mean it's just paper. And that's why normal glue does work. It just means you need to hold, you know, let things dry a bit. So, for example, if you're using normal glue, I would probably put cloth peg here and here and let it dry. Here we go. Now I'm going to put lots of glue at the bottom, like that. There we go. Secure into the middle. And it might stick a little bit. Actually, you know what? a little bit there and again if you're using normal glue that's fine just put it on the just put it on the rim of your bottom of the cup and then um, stick it on and rest it because with normal glue it shouldn't fall over I might stick a little bit in here so this is the fiddliest part of it all but to be honest it's quickly done there you go and then you take your uh, handle and you stick it on the side so I'm going to put a little bit here and again if you've been using pegs rather than a hot glue gun to hold things in place you could have had this earlier and then you could have held that everything in place at the same time whilst it was drying that would again make sense and there you have in less than seven minutes a very cute and simple paper cup really good fun now I'm off for my tea party Bye bye, don't forget to subscribe to Red Ted Art and see you again soon. Bye!